time for the visit with the person of high strangeness. Um, to th today, I thought I would allow you to um, enter my life a little bit and see some of the things that I um, go through sometimes to, uh, to prepare these shows for you. Now, I was watching, uh, I think it's called Jimmy Kimmel Live or something. It's a late night talk show. And the uh, director of the film Kill Bill uh, was the co-host this week. And so uh, eventually they took question and answers from the um, audience. And uh, uh, this lady asked the, the director of Kill Bill um, if she had any questions and, and how did they like the movie. Well, as an overall, they had went to the movie theaters to interview people to get opinions. And uh, about 90% of the people suggested that they liked Kill Bill part two better than the first part. And the question the woman in, in turn had was, uh, uh, was it harder to do the second part than it was the first one? And, it, and I really liked the way he answered that. He said, well, originally it was only one piece. And when it came time to edit it, there was no way I could decide what to leave in it and what to take out. And so we just made it into two. And that's what you got today. Um, I wanted to condense it all in one show. That didn't happen. So we, this is the first of two parts, and it's called The Birth of a Show. And uh, so for the friends that think I am at home and I have nothing to do, that's for you, and also for the sponsors, so they can see that I really appreciate their help and try to do the best that I can. So come right along as we go into a two-week um, setup here of preparing shows. Enjoy as soon as we're done here. Go. Cool. Well, we have to take a break. Here we go. Enjoy. This is Lillian thinking about the birth of another show and what she's going to do next week. And then here we have Mike. He's my helper today. We're going to prepare for Wednesday's show, which is going to be called, I forgot. Oh, Yuma Prison. Yuma Prison, huh? Yuma Prison, that's correct. Okay, so now the, well, the next thing we have to do is, I'm going to go over here and show you. I'm in my nightgown. Are you ready, Mike? I'm ready. Cool. Okay, this is the tape that you sent me, that you took at, uh, the Yuma prison. The Yuma prison. So now what we need to do is time to see what we can use or not. Okay. Be before we do that, I'm going to play you a little piece of. Uh, I'm going to play you a little piece of of this. Uh, you remember Markham? Yes. Uh, with the poem. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if we want to do a little. Um, I'm looking for my thing. I'm always looking for my thing. This one. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's maybe we're gonna put that on the front. I think so. I, that was good, no? Huh? The poem was very good. Okay. So we'll put that uh Hey, not South Africa. I'm not took a lot for you to do this. The gentleman that they projected next to you. That's about the third time I cried because I leave that on there. That's yes, the young that's man that's I was talking about. Emotion is, is good. In that very good. Yeah. Supermax for years at the time. And uh, he was a very good friend of Dr. Sh uh, Shakur, Tupac Shakur's father. And um, thank you. Um, INS detainees. Okay. We'll right now in America today, it's the bottom of the pit. We'll yeah. They that. have no element of relief. There is the no end to their existence. The they have out. no sentences. They have no hearing. They have no lawyers. They have no justice. No justice. Now keep in mind, that was before 9-11. Imagine what it is like now. Boxes, but since you know? Mary Ella Bogleff, 20-some years well, ago. Well, okay. So um, we'll do... So if anybody is there and would 
So we'll do that, okay? Okay. All right. And um, that was that sounds good to me. Five minutes and something, no? Yeah. I had 0532, and I know it's more than that. Okay. Okay, now, this is the tape that you sent, right? All right. Now, we have to see what we want to do. Um, <coughs> my ancient equipment here. Guess what? Sometimes it takes one or two buttons push. Mm-hmm. This must be beginning here. Maybe not. Let's see. <laughs> and the reason I'm in my nightgown, I can only do this at night. <laughs> because in the daytime, everybody and their mother wants me to do something. Okay. Now, eventually we're going to have to transfer this tape to another tape. Right. But in the meantime, now you see here, for any of you that sent me tapes, take that out, the date. You see what I mean? Right, the date and the, and the <coughs> yeah, excuse me. time. Yeah. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to view this tape and see what we can keep and what we can't keep. And the problem we're going to have with that okay, one we're going through the gate is here, the opening, and then we're going to be in the prison. story is so great we'll see in a minute but then if i cut out like i love wind you know i did reality tv before it was famous but if i cut anything out the sound is gone you know the dialogue is gone okay Yes. So that's going to be the very first, um, the very first step that we make, and always start out far, and then come back. You see, like she's now, she, she's coming in now. That's how you do that. Because let me show you something. <coughs> Excuse me. You see how close that is? One third of the prison was demolished to make way for the present bridge and its foundation. Let me show you. It should be far away and then coming in, uh -huh. not close. No, no, let, me show you, let me show you what happens. It's when, when you bring it in too close. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> You see, it's too close. See how close it is? Yes. Well, okay, that's it. Then we go to the next step, which means we have to overlay something there to clear that up. Yeah, then on the other hand, I might show it to you like it is. <laughs> well, okay. So that's the next step there. Okay. Oh, let me bring that in for you. So you can see what I'm talking about. Here, we're coming up to the dark room. Over there with the white door. You see, that's that's why this is next to the door. And next to that white door. See here? Well, this is the tool shed. See, there's the time. Got a picture here of what they, what right. they had. And, and that's the what we have to clear up. What it was like inside. Like that. You see? Yes. Just like that. Well, okay, now we're going to show you how we do that. Now it's about an hour later. Let me show you. My helper <laughs> has went to, he's, he's sitting on the floor by now. And uh, let me show you my living room here. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get the 
uglies out of it. But I am going to show this to you as a home movie, and then the next week I'll show you what we try to do with it. See, here's all the little pictures. Then, of course, the phone rang again and broke my uh, concentration. And so that's what we got accomplished in an hour here. Let me show you. I think we did a whole, we looked at a whole 12 minutes of the whole process. Let me bring that in for you and show you how far as we have gotten here. Hang on. Where's my thingy? <laughs> oh. huh? Thingy's on the floor right there. Yeah. 17 minutes. Right. Originally the cell block was That's how fast we got. And not exposed to the elements as it appears today. One of the earliest electrical generating plants in the West but I'm always home. <laughs> okay. Now the next phase of this operation is to transfer still photos and things onto a camera. So I'm going to show you how we'll do that. I'm going to walk right by you here in my 90. Now, when I do background music in here, then I use this little gadget. And it goes like that. And, oh, let's see. Here you go. It's not a... And because it is a sound, it doesn't really matter. Here's my helper. Hello? <laughs> It doesn't really matter where the music picks up because there is really no theme to it. So I'm going to swing around here and that's where my helper comes in to make sure that I'm in the picture here. So, whoops, now I'm going to show you, whoops, I am just not with it. <coughs> Being brilliant and thinking about it and doing it is two different things, you know. So. Is probably stay there, okay? All right. I'm talking to my helper here, and I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. Close this. Oops. All right. Now, am I in it? Your hands are. Oh. Now you're. I'm in it. Now you're in it. Whoa. All right. When you have no button, that's why I don't feel bad uh, about uh, losing a brain gumbo because this is what I have to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go. So now, in preparation for the uh, prison show, the first thing I need. Oh, okay. Oops. Sometimes these things happen. There you go. First thing I'm going to need is a map. So, here's the map. That's not good. Well, we're getting there. Dollar store. It goes a long ways. It serves the purpose here. And then, of course, when we pack up the boxes to send them to the other stations. And if you lose the edge of this, you've really had it because you'll never find it again. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's try that. Voila. There we go. There's our map. It's on. Now, this camera here is the one that's going to film this. And then it's going to look like that. I'll show you. It'll be like that. Did I mention we had permission to do this from that nice blonde lady? 
see? And then when you see it on the screen, it looks like that. So, now after a while here, um, we're going to show you what the next step is. So, for now, this is the raw stuff. And then, of course, we take this one down. And so on and so on, you know, as, as, as it comes along. So you can actually put anything here that you need. All right. It's still raining. Yeah, make louder for you. Uh, give you echo. No echo today. Okay. Um, now, because we was having trouble with some of the footage, we had to go do this. Now we're back in the front. We have to review everything, see what it sounds like, and check it so we can go do it. Uh, not do it. We don't have to do anything. We would like to go in the back and overlay the rest of the footage for the show that we are preparing for. And that's how that works. Now we are actually in the other place. That's where the editing takes place. What I'm showing you here, these are, I haven't put them away. Remember those wonderful music shows? Well, this is the music shows. And then this here, all these containers full of little tapes, those are the interviews I haven't gotten to yet. So let me show you that here. That's what that looks like. Like so. Four boxes from which the music shows came from. Now keep in mind, it takes up to six tapes to produce one show. Then in here, up you go carnation box. You see the little tapes here? These are all the little ones that come out of the camera I'm using now. These are the ones that we used on the trip and of course they all had to be uh, transferred. There you go. So now I'm going to get in front of you again because I'm going to show you what's next. Now up here the units up there that's blinking right now, those are the ones that we copy with. And now watch what happens here. I'm not going to turn it off. I'm just going to talk you right through it in my pajama. Movie tea. Okay. Excuse me. My helper is sitting right here. This is a backup tape. It goes in here. The reason for that is so I don't lose anything. Now, this is the little tape here that is actually of the footage from um, the actual prison. And that goes in here. That's what we're going to pull the sound off of. And that goes in here. And then everything from here runs through here to this board. And down here. Now we got it. So you see? And this is the tape. Oops. This is the tape from uh, the still photos we did. And that would go in here. It goes right there. I guess we better roll that back a little bit. Now, in the meantime, there's a tape on top of there. Would you be nice enough to give me that? Okay. Now, this is the tape that goes in here. And that's the unit we're going to work off 
and I'll show you how that works. Now let's see here. And uh it just takes out the sound, so it's like in the studio. It comes from this one. And then this one here. Oops. I'm tired. Sometimes I have to do this twice. Not gonna work. Well, anyway, let's freeze this for a minute. Pause. Here you go. This needs to be rewind. Hmm. Interesting. It won't go backwards. Well, anyway, so in order for this to work, I hope this is on here. Okay. I'm just going to show you for one second here. This has to be set, record on the same channel as this. And then I freeze this. Why isn't this coming? Hmm. Pretty soft, soft to tape, huh? Um, it was a little ways in on the tape, wasn't it? Well, okay, just for argument's sake, let's try that. Let me show you another one. We'll fix this one in a minute. Okay, let's just say we had to take in here. So, let's use this one. Here goes this one. There's something on this tape, I guarantee you. There you go. Miss Lisa, now watch this. You see? There's Miss Lisa. So now, I can take Miss Lisa and put it in here. And that's how we do that. Or, I can do that. Ooh, who's that up there? Look at that. Or, we can go this way. Or that way. Or this way. You see? This is this tape here, and this is this tape here. And whatever comes to here, that's what's on my backup and what I'm recording here. And that's what you're going to see. Well, not really, because this is what I take to the studio, and then we work off of that. This one just stopped. This goes to the studio for the final work. So now that you see how that works, but that's an upcoming show here. Um, we're going to use this for a closing. Okay? So that'll give you a general idea. This has to be rewound up here, or else I could just... I can put anything in here, you know. Let me show you some magic here. No, this is at the end. Can't do that like that. No. Believe it or not, all this is in my head. I can look at the color and the cover and I really actually know what's on these things. But well, check this out. Now I got a picture. Come on. Hmm, maybe.
maybe not. It's not cooperating here. There we go. There we go. Now watch this. Now this is the sound from this tape. No. This is the sound from this tape. And now it's the sound from that tape. You see? Homemade crayons, what do you know? You see? So we got music from both sides. All right. So make up your mind which one you like. So I'm gonna have to get up. Time for a cigarette. Time for a smoke. So now, we're at a different phase. Of course, I'm sweating right about now, because we've been working um, four hours now. Here comes the part 